Hello! Today we're going to learn about personal data and personal information. In recent years, we have seen a rise in cybersecurity scams, a lot of it related to retrieving our personal information and our personal data. In order to protect ourselves, we felt that it was important to share and first understand what is personal data and what is sensitive personal data. First off, what is personal data? So personal data is basically any data or information related to you as an individual. This could mean your birthday. It could also mean things such as your shopping preferences, what milk you like to buy, what egg you like to buy, where you like to shop, be it offline in a supermarket, or maybe online with Lazada, Shopee, or any of the other online merchants. So that can all be considered as your personal data. So then what then is sensitive personal data? Sensitive personal data is a specific set of data or information under personal data that must be treated with extra security. So meaning that sensitive personal data is still considered your personal data. It's just that some of the information, it should be more protected, it shouldn't be released out easily, and we just need it to treat we just need to treat it with extra care. So then what are some examples of sensitive personal data? Here we have listed seven examples of sensitive personal data. The first is race or ethnicity. So whether or not you're Chinese, Malay, or Indian, those are all information that you should protect. Second is your political opinions. Who do you decide to vote for? Who do you decide to vote against? Those are also considered as sensitive personal data. Third, we have religious or philosophical beliefs. So whether you're Muslim, whether you're Buddhist, whether you're Hindu, whether you're Christian or any other religion, those are also considered sensitive personal data. Your criminal background, if you have any, your trade union membership, your health or sexual orientation, basically any medical reports that you have, those are all also considered sensitive personal data. And finally, your biometric or genetic information, such as your fingerprint or any of your DNA information, all those kind of things can be considered as sensitive personal data. So what should we do about this sensitive personal data? We need to protect them. We need to protect our personal data and our sensitive personal data because this data can be used in a discriminatory way, meaning that people can use this data, such as our fingerprints, our medical report, or our political opinion, they can use this data against us itself. Therefore, if you're unsure, if you're not sure who's asking for this information, or who wants this information, or whether you're supposed to share this information, just make sure that you do not share until you have checked with your family member or someone that you trust. So here at WeGo, we would just like to wish everyone to stay safe, whether or not it's from cybersecurity crimes or from COVID, because we go forward together. So stay safe, everyone.